only all local morning news. Fox 2 News Morning starts now. Good morning to you. It is 7 o'clock. It's Tuesday, May 23rd. I'm Jay Towers. We are moving right along. I'm Amy Andrews. Thanks so much for spending part of your morning with us today. It is that time of year when families across the country pile into their vehicles and hit the open road. But there are some things to consider before that big road trip. We have some tips from the expert Mike Caudill coming up in our second half hour. If you're fortunate enough to be able to be going somewhere this weekend. Oh, the road trips are the best, too. That's fun. You know, listen, get your music playlist all set up and ready to go. Your snacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, plus, it's Tuesday, so we're noshing. Speaking of snacks, Josh Landon takes us to a new midday hotspot in West Bloomfield called We've Got Brunch. And they have a lot more than brunch. They'll be joining us in the Fox 2 kitchen this morning. Oh, we love Tuesdays here. Honestly, what a great way to make it through the week. Mm -hmm. You know, like right. what else is a Tuesday going to do for you? Right. <laughs> it's going to get you closer to Friday. You're right. <laughs> is, that, is that your opinion of Tuesdays? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Closer to I do hear we're going to have a nice weather today. That'll get me through. We sure are. What are you guys thinking about the, the skies as of late? I've heard a lot of discussion. Oh, so yeah. Is, is the smoke still a thing? Mm -hmm. oh, I saw it at my parents' mm -hmm. house up in Davison. Yeah. yeah. But would you, because I've had some folks, like, it's not even sunny out. It's all cloudy yeah, and I muddy. Yeah, I feel like it's hazy. hazy. It is. Yep. It is. But there's still, you know, an element of sun. We'll, yeah. well, I guess we'll start with a look at it and you be the judge. I get it. There is that haze. You know, it's not this sun shining as brilliantly as it normally would. Um, but we still have it. So I guess smoky sun maybe is the way to say this. Um, filtered sunshine. Gross you looking okay, depending upon your opinion. Um, so we, we still have the temps that are going to be moving up, only to fade on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday is the day the cold front comes through and kicks our temperatures down. It's 47 degrees in Ann Arbor, in Lapeer, 46 in Port Huron, 54 downtown, and 50 degrees to start things out in Windsor. Wind is light to calm. The wind will not be a, a huge player today. South breeze, 5 or 10 miles an hour. That's about it. But did you notice that wind shift into Wednesday? That northerly wind takes over quickly, uh, and that kicks our temperatures down. So big change is coming on Wednesday. Today's the day we just have kind of subtle upward momentum that continues. So becoming less and less cool between now and noon. Uh, by noon, we're at 75. That's where we finished yesterday. We'll top out today near 80 degrees. And then this comes through Wednesday. And if you check out radar, there's a little bit of wet weather with that boundary. Um, and that will become more likely as it heads in our direction. But then that trend reverses and we lose the rain. So all of that to say that no rain today, no rain tomorrow either. But let's go ahead and talk more about how that day will play out coming up. Uh, first, we go to the roads with Kelly. All right, thank you, Ann. For the most part, your roads look pretty good, but we do have a couple of uh, pretty pretty serious things to worry about. Westbound 96 closed this morning due to a vehicle fire that has since been put out, but crews are on scene working to get that cleared in the local lanes between Evergreen and Outer Drive. Now that closed about five or 10 minutes ago, so I think it might be a little while. It looks like a pretty severe scene, and we do have a police vehicle blocking one of the express lanes in the westbound direction, but you're not going to see major backups there. You will see them, of course, approaching the uh, the um, approaching 96 because you are forced to get off the expressway there. So uh, keep in mind, you will encounter these delays on your morning commute. And again, this one's pretty, pretty new. It might take some time. Heads up on a total closure on eastbound 96. It starts at 10 o'clock this morning until 3 o'clock eastbound 96, totally closing between Wixom and Beck for some emergency repairs there. You can use Grand River in the meantime to get around that but of course naturally that will get very very slow plan accordingly on the fox cam a live look it's slow right now it's 696 and telegraph in this construction zone pretty typical though for this time of morning jay and amy all right, thanks so much. In Southfield, fire officials are working to learn the cause of that large fire that began just hours after, around 4 o'clock, I should say, this morning at a strip mall. Fox News, Robin Murdoch is live in the area of 10 Mile and Southfield Roads. And Robin, what can you tell us? 
Well, uh, right now, Amy and Jay, firefighters, they are currently trying to put out some hot spots, so they will be clearing the scene shortly. Uh, they actually have the ladder truck up right behind me right now, and they are dousing the building with water, again, trying to get at some of those hard-to-reach spots and make sure that all of the flames are completely out. Once they are done with that, I'm told investigators, they will be able to get in there, and they'll be able to figure out exactly what happened, how this all started this morning. Now, crews, they have been been out here since about 415 this morning. That is when somebody driving by spotted the flames coming out of the strip mall. And this is in the 18,200 block of 10 mile right near Southfield Road here in Southfield. Now when crews first arrived out here this morning, we're told that flames and smoke, they were shooting out of the top of the building, out of the roof of the building. Now there are at least five businesses in this strip mall, including a men's store. There's a restaurant, a Dollar General, and it does appear that the fire started in a beauty supply store in this strip mall. Now we are told again that the fire has been contained. Uh, there's still going to be a great deal of damage uh, to some of the surrounding businesses though, likely from all of the smoke as well as the water. At one point, crews, they did use two different ladder trucks to fight this fire and the key really was using a lot of water to douse the building. Take a listen to a captain who is on scene with more on that. Just a lot of water when it comes down to it. Um, we put up a couple master streams um, on the alpha side of the front door and had a good hit on it off the get-go and then transitioned while using both aerials when Birmingham arrived. And uh, then we had a pretty good knockdown on the fire to where we're at now. Now, they did have a number of different firefighters out here. At one point, there were close to 40 different firefighters from a number of the fire departments in the surrounding area, Royal Oak, Birmingham, Southfield, obviously out here, Ferndale. They were all out here taking part in this effort to fight this massive fire at the strip mall behind me. Uh, right now, no injuries are reported, no cause, but investigators, they will be dig digging through some of the rubble to try and figure that out. We'll remain out here and bring you an update in about an hour. For now, we are live in Southfield. I'm Robin Murdoch for Fox 2 News. Robin, thank you so much. In Harper Woods, a 10-year-old boy is in critical condition after suffering a gunshot wound to the head. Now, this happening on Saturday. Detectives think he may have shot himself, but it's not known if it was intentional or an accident. Police also working to find out where the gun came from. Officers reminding gun owners to unload and lock up their weapons when not in use. Well, Governor Gretchen Whitmer, green lighting, red flag laws. The legislation allows police, mental health officials, and family members to ask a judge to take guns away from people considered a risk to themselves or others. I've heard too many times from those who knew a mass shooter who had expressed concern in advance about that mass shooter's intentions. We've seen situations where local police flagged someone or even spoke to them about their violent statements, but weren't able to take any further course of action. There are questions over the legality of the laws. Leaders in places like Livingston County pledging not to enforce them. Feel. Our commissioners did a great job. Our sheriff, we're behind them 100%. And these laws aren't going to move the needle. The governor says she hopes prosecutors will stand by their oath to uphold the law. Michigan is now the 21st state to enact red flag laws. According to the CDC, the states with the lowest rates of gun deaths are Massachusetts, Hawaii, and New Jersey, all states with red flag laws. A big crowd is expected at Jefferson's school board meeting in Monroe County tonight over concerns about the district's chief financial officer. 30-year-old Keith Williams is facing four felonies for allegedly trying to meet a 14-year-old for sex. It was really a sheriff's deputy posing as an online teenager, obviously. Currently, Williams is on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. But many parents think he should be fired. Tonight's meeting starts at 6 o'clock.